I'm gonna show you how to create these $125 nails at home for cheap. All right, so the first thing I need to do is my prep. I just took some nails off, so this is how they be looking afterwards. <laughs> um, but first things first, I'm just gonna go ahead and trim down my nails. All right, so next I'm gonna take my cuticle pusher and we're gonna push back these cuticles. And I'm gonna take my hand file and round these corners out. And just taking the shine away from the nails. And this is totally optional, but my cuticles need some work. So we're gonna do some cuticle clean work with my drill bit. So the prep is all done and now we're going to apply some nail tips. And I decided to go with these natural tips. Um, because I'm working with pastel colors, I want the colors to really pop. So that's why we're going with these. All right, so once I have the nails on, I'm gonna go ahead and trim these down. I don't want them too long. So for the ring fingernail, it's going to be a ice cream cone. So we're gonna have to do a stiletto shape on this one. We got the corners clipped and we're just gonna use the file to do the rest. All right, so going back to the picture, I can tell that she used color acrylic. I mean, you see the Valentino in the back, but I'm gonna try another technique with gel polish. It's a easier way to do an ombre. So I have my gel polishes and uh, we gonna see if this works. I didn't have the right pink that I wanted, so I'm gonna have to mix these two. And because the tips are kind of just so smooth, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of buff them just to make sure the gel polish sticks to them. All right, so now we're gonna go in with the gel polish. All right, and go ahead and cure. And then I'm gonna go in with a second coat. We want this color to be really intense. This is like our cheat. Instead of using colored acrylic, we're using gel polish. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and cure. All right, so next I'm gonna go in with this blue gel polish. And then next we're gonna go in with this yellow. All right, so I don't necessarily know what's on the thumb. One of the thumbs may be all blinged out. I don't know, I'm taking some liberties here. So we're just gonna do like a mint green. All right, so next I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off the tacky layer because we don't need no more dust sticking to these nails. <laughs> All right, so we got the tips all painted. This is what they're looking like. Um, so yeah, we need to go ahead and cap the gel polish with clear acrylic. I received this from a local nail tech here in Nashville. She sent over her new acrylic brush and I wanna go ahead and give it a try. Um, she also included some of her cuticle oil and y'all, this stuff smells so good. Like. I can wear this as perfume. It smells really, really good. She also has a discount code for y'all if y'all are interested in it. This is the brush, nailed by Tammy, and it is a size 12 Kalinske brush. I am always down for trying some new acrylic brushes. You can never have enough, so. Right 
off the gate, this brush is pretty easy to use. All right, so after laying all of the clear, I'm gonna go in with this nude acrylic. And this is from Not Polish and it is called Touch of Lips. Even though I'm using a size 12, I'm still gonna take small beads and work my way back like I always do because I want this blend to be as perfect as possible. Then for the ring fingernail here, I'm just going to cover the tip of this with the nude color because this is going to be our ice cream cone. Hey, I did that one B method. <laughs> All right, so after laying all of the new acrylic, I'm gonna go in with clear and we're just gonna cap everything. Just a nice bead of clear. And this ensures that we're able to file this nail without messing up our ombre. Like, I definitely see why Queen of Nails charge what she charge, okay? This is a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're doing it on yourself, then you can save a little bit of coin. You don't have to put the clear on the entire nail, but I just like to do it just for consistency. All right, so we have everything laid and I'm gonna go ahead and do my filing and shaping. All right, filing and shaping is done. This is how they are looking. So now we need to do the ice cream cone nail. And what I'm gonna do first is draw the gel polish onto the ice cream cone. So I'm using this new polish. This is the perfect color to match the picture. This gel polish is so old. Like I'm shocked that the gel polish still lasts, but here we are. <laughs> Y'all know like I have this kind of love-hate relationship with drawing, so hopefully this turns out good. On the picture here, it looks like the paint is shiny. I'ma trace over my lines with some top coat to give it that shiny look so we can seal in the gel polish. All right, and doing it this way kind of gives it some texture. I like. All right, so now for the scary part, the 3D ice cream scoops. This part always makes me nervous because all it takes is just one little mess up and then like the whole nail is messed up, so. <laughs> Hopefully we get these ice cream scoops perfect. So I'm just gonna use some acrylic I have um, just to match the colors. We got pink, yellow, and blue. Oh, and white. So the first scoop, I'm gonna work backwards. I'm gonna do the pink one first. All right, so we just gonna place this one right here. 
Maybe I shouldn't have used dip powder. <laughs> it's marbling a little bit. You kind of want it to be like rounded a little bit. You know what? I kind of like the marble. It kind of gives it this ice cream look. So we're gonna put this one right here. We're gonna wait for this one to set a little bit. And then we're just gonna take the smaller brush and kind of put the indentations in it. Is that a scoop or what? <laughs> Okay, the next color is white. All right, I'm gonna let that set a little bit. I actually want it just a little bit more 3D. And now we can go in with our second bead of white. Let that start to set a little bit. And then doing our stabbing again. All right, and finally we're gonna go in with the blue. I'm gonna have to hold my hand down. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to pick up the tiniest bead with this number 12. <laughs> All right, so next we're gonna add the bling. So for the bling, I'm gonna try out this McCart rhinestone glue. I've been seeing people use it and saying it's really good. So let's see. Just gonna squeeze some of this out. Now I do like that it has this little applicator. Okay, I think I like this gel. <laughs> this is really nice. And the gel is thick, it don't move, okay? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cure. I like this. <laughs> this rhinestone gel is, y'all should get y'all some of that. And next I'm gonna add my matte top coat. All right, so y'all was about to let me forget about the little macaron on the ice cream. <laughs> I forgot. All right, so we gotta go ahead and put this little macaron on. Okay, I'm gonna hold this on the brush for a little bit because I don't want it to slosh around. I want it to stay firm. Okay, so we are gonna just put this right here. All right, here is the finished look. Oh, these turned out so cute. So if you enjoyed this video and wanna see more nails on a budget, check out this video right here. And I will talk to you in the next one.